welcome to this presentation in this presentation we are going to see the basic of the different windows in the MATLAB so the first window that you can see here is your command window so this is the main window and once you click on the MATLAB it will put you here on this window the command window and uh, right now you should focus on this window only because the other windows that you can see here here and here are not that much important to you at this instance of time so this is your command prompt and you have to write your code here so let's do a simple subtraction of the two matrices so let's say your first matrix is D and uh, we will write D like this and uh, it is equal to it is equal to let's say D is a 2 by 2 matrix and it is having the elements 2 2 remember this 2 2 represents your first row and as it is 2 by 2 matrix we have to end this row here and we will put this to end this row and now we will make the other row and the other row let's say is your 3 then space and 3 and then close so in this way you're having your matrix and uh, the one more important thing in the command window is that as soon as you write your code you write your instruction and you will enter the output will be in front of you like this once I enter the D is your 2 by 2 matrix having the first row as 2 2 and the second row as 3 3 and uh, let's make our another matrix it is E and uh, E is equal to let's make it 2 by 2 matrix and uh, it is let's say 1 1 remember you have to give a space after the first element 1 and then the second row is let's say 2 2 then bracket closed and enter now you are having the two matrices D and E the next thing we want is to subtract E from D so let's do it let's say F is the matrix that we will get after the subtraction so F is equal to D minus E very simple and uh, just enter so it's very simple to see that 2 minus 1 is 1 similarly the rest of the elemental operations is equal to 1 so we are having our F so in this way you can use your command window you can directly have your output once you have entered the instruction and uh, there's one more important thing that I would like to show you here is that you want to clear this window then you have to just enter CLC okay and once you are entered your CLC just enter it and you will find that the command window is all clear okay I use it a lot so I think the command window is a bit clear to you now it's time to move to our another window and uh, it is situated on the left hand side of the MATLAB it is, that is your current folder okay we call it as the current directory pan okay it's not actually the main window it's or you can say a sub window so it's located on the left of the command window you can see that and all the files from the current directory are listed here these are the different files dot android dot nbi dot net beans app data these are the different files here and uh, it helps us the easy navigation to our files okay this is the main task of this subfolder to provide the easy navigation to the different files so we will not go much into this and uh, we will move to our third window that's your workspace and we call it workspace pan or workspace sub window now it's an interesting window this is a sub window which lists all the variable that we have generated so far so far means you can see that in the last example I made these three variables D E and F and before that I made three more variables A B C in which I added the two matrices A and B and got the result C that you can see here in this I will come to this command history it's also very important so 
this is what this workspace source it shows all the variables that are created okay and uh, we can do various things with this variables if I click on it and I click on write then you can see there are so many plot area pi delete copy duplicate so many things that you can do with these variables by just doing the right click so this is all about the workspace pan and now we will move to the command history pan this thing okay extreme right corner so it records all the commands type on the main command window okay in the command prompt whatever you type whatever the instruction you type here it is recorded here okay and remember it will record everything the history will be there from monday tuesday wednesday whatever you work whatever instruction you have done it will be there like the date is also showing here on the 25th 10 2014 at 5 25 i made this code okay a is equal to a matrix 2 by 2 b is also a matrix and c is equal to a plus b Similarly, on 29-10-2014, I made this code in front of you and then I used the clear screen CLC and it is recording it and it will be there when I come back to the MATLAB. So this is the task of the command history or you can say that the command history pan. So there is one more thing that is left in this is that when I click on it, okay, just not only click, when I double click on it, it will show the output along with the instruction in the command window similarly you can do with b so b is also there and c c is the sum of a and b you can see two three five six similarly you can have the function that we just did d e and f f is your d minus e so this is one thing that you can do by using your command history now i will use clc to clear the screen okay so it's time to move to a very important window that we call as the editor window the editor window will not appear in this panel to make it appear you have to do something and what you have to do you have to click control plus n so I will do that control plus n and this is our editor window okay now there is a very great advantage of uh, writing your code in the editor window is that the output will not generate as soon as you press enter after instruction so let's see how it is done if i write the same code the a is your matrix which is equal to let's say one two is your first row then three four is your second row a two by two matrix and uh, the B is your second matrix also 2 by 2 let's make the first row 1 1 and the second row 2 2 and enter now you can see that once I enter after the instruction first instruction the matrix A the output is not appearing similarly when I did for B the output is not appearing so let's make the C which is equal to A plus B okay once you are done with your coding once you are done with your instructions the next step is to make them run so i will click on run and you have to save them let's save it as test and then save and you're having your output in the command window so we have to go to the command window and you can see that the test is the name of the file and you are having a b and c so this is what we do in our editor window so we are done with the editor window the last window that we'll do in this presentation is your figure window so let's make a figure window let's make it appear here so how we are going to do that for that I will do something which will little bit confusing to you but it's just to show you that how the figure window looks T is a vector which is from 1 to 10 okay with the increment of unity this we will see later it's not that much important right now you have to just see what the figure windows look like now we will write the function y which is equal to sine of t and we want to plot it I want to show the plot of the sine t so I will use the function plot and inside the bracket we are having t comma y and then we will run it so after running it we are having this which is your figure window this is something I was talking about in this you can see the plot of the sine t 
so i think this is all for this presentation we learned a lot about the windows different type of windows in the matlab and this will help you further for your codings so in the next presentation we are going to do a little bit of coding